iPadOS 16 has brought some massive upgrades to one of my favorite iPad productivity features, and it's one that three quarters of you tell me you never even use. It is of course dictation if you haven't quite picked up on that yet. And in this video, I wanna explore exactly why you should be making the most of it. If you've never tried dictation before, it can be an incredibly powerful way of getting your thoughts and ideas down when you don't have access to a keyboard or a notepad. As the parent of a five month old baby, my hands are full all of the time, so I never get a chance to actually sit down and write. Sometimes it might seem a bit mad just sitting there and talking to yourself or telling a baby all about a brand new mouse that you picked up recently. But as someone who also likes to talk through their thoughts to make sense of them, dictation actually comes pretty naturally to me. And I bet that a lot of people people who are working from home and struggling with that lack of interaction with other people would really benefit from just speaking into their device as if they were talking to somebody. Now, iPadOS 15 is good enough at dictation. You don't need to get onto the beta to start testing this out, but it does have some really good improvements in the new OS that just add a lot of quality of life. First of all is the option to switch between inputs whenever you are dictating. So as you can see now, I'm just speaking and it's picking up my speech fairly accurately. Um, but if I wanted to, I could stop, take a moment to pause, and continue on my keyboard. And then I can go straight back to speaking. Secondly, you'll be really surprised at the quality of the transcription when you are dictating. And that's helped by another new iPadOS 16 feature, which adds much better punctuation and grammar to your sentences. So as you'll notice when I'm speaking, it will keep going back and revisiting things that I've just said to make sure that it's inputting the correct uh, punctuation. You've also got the option to now use emojis in dictation. So if I wanted to say, smiley face emoji there you go it actually worked some emojis as it happens have really long unicode names so it can be quite difficult to remember very specific ones if you want to use them but you should be able to do things like victory hands emoji no. The other great thing that dictation is actually brilliant for is if you're learning or speaking in a foreign language. Ich weiß nicht, ob du Bescheid weißt, aber ich habe acht Jahre in Deutschland verbracht und ich rede Deutsch täglich. So, das ist wirklich nützlich für mich, dass ich kann auf Deutsch sprechen und mein iPad wird das alles aufschreiben. Natürlich kann man das auch übersetzen, auch in dem Notes App. So, es ist ziemlich geil, wenn du mit jemandem sprichst und äh, du, es gibt eine Chance, dass du nicht alles verstanden hast. Du kannst ja einfach auf den Notes abgucken und das äh, nachträglich übersetzen. Ist ziemlich geil. And yeah, this is even better if you're trying to speak a language that has a completely different script. For example, I've been learning a little bit of Japanese and being able to say the sentences that I've learned and then look at how they're written in Kana has helped me actually recognize certain symbols much more easily than I previously could. Watashi no tokoro de nani ka nomimasu ka? And then you can just like click into it, click on translate, and it's gonna translate it into the English. Do you want something to drink at my place? Bit feisty, eh? Of course, you don't have to do everything natively in the Notes app. It will actually work anywhere that you can put text into your iPad, including in messages with the new update, which is pretty cool. But a lot of the time, I also use another app entirely called Just Press Record, and it makes it really simple to take dictation any time that you've got your hands full. And all you have to do is press one button on your wrist, and you can start speaking and entering your thoughts out there. I've actually recorded entire scripts for my videos like this. And while they do sort of come back as a bit of a garbled mess at times, it's better than having nothing. And if you really don't have the time for, to sit down and get your thoughts into a computer or write them down on paper, then just being able to speak them into your watch is incredibly convenient. Usually I just copy the script into uh, the Pages app or into Notes, clean it up, and then I've got a nice script ready to go. But dictation's not for everyone, but it is an incredibly useful tool to just have in your arsenal. And I do believe that it can just make you so much more productive and give you so much more opportunity to get ideas down. And that's why I think it's a real piece of intentional tech. If you do prefer the old fashioned way of typing into your computer, then check out this review of the iQnix L80 Cosmic Traveler. And I will see you in a bit.